Hello, lovely community. We received several inquiries per week from formulators, novice formulators, and students of skincare making regarding the choice of a pH meter. So I decided to make a series of short videos in small uh, bites for you, not to recommend a specific pH meter because the models and varieties are different in different parts of the world, but to share our experience and some recommendations for you. So to start with, when you need a pH meter, when you start making water containing formulations such as shower gel, shampoo, liquid shampoo, or uh, creams, emulsions, toner, body splash, all of these water containing formulations, you need to measure and record the pH. One reason is the safety of the finished product, the efficacy of your individual ingredients, stability of the ingredients, and the stability of the overall product. And the other part is that recording the pH of the product over time uh, defines uh, the stability of the product and should be a part of your stability testing of the products that you are making. So this is when you need a pH meter. If you are just making balms and butters and uh, waterless formulations, then you definitely don't need any pH meter, but otherwise you need a pH meter. No matter if you are just making products for your own sake and your family and your friends, for your pets, or if you are trying to make commercial products and sell your products. The first option uh, and what most students and novice formulators or DIYers start with are these uh, pH uh, measurement papers or strips. They are available in different forms and they are at the beginning very affordable and very easy to work with. You just tear a piece or take a piece and measure your pH and you are good to go at the beginning. But on the long term, first they are actually not affordable at all and then they are not precise. So imagine you are measuring a pH several times a day or even several times per week, then these are not that much affordable for you if you are measuring lots of products over over week or over the day and they are not precise. So the next option is switching to pH meters and in the next video 